What's up guys and welcome back to Ask NK. So not long ago we made a video where we showed off the cool things that you can get when you choose to simulate with GPU that comes with Marvelous Designer 9. So we got a couple of requests, some emails and about two or three comments asking how good is this stuff, how is it going to work, if you want to export it for Blender, if you want to use it for Maya, if they fix the broken stuff. And yes, there's also one comment that is actually this is the mail and it's asking if we can make a video about simulating this and if you can use the GPU to actually create simulation. So I'm going to go ahead and answer a couple of these things now. So how you can start is by default, you can see that directly from here, we already have a model. All right. So what I'm going to do, if you check out the previous video, you find out all of the comparisons with this. So I'm going to click on simulate GPU and simply hit GPU. So this is going to just go a bit and simulate this and you can see how fast that is. You can also notice like the last time which we talked about this, we said the GPU is good, but it's not so good for most areas. So what I'm going to do is I might just step back one bit and switch back to normal and just simulate this real quick. Okay, so now that I have the proper simulation that I want, I may now decide to switch this to GPU. So once I stop this, I would, you know, simply switch this back to GPU, make sure I have all of these things ready. If you have a character that has an animation baked into it, yeah, then you're good to go. You can now simply move over to the animation side and get your animation working. If you don't have a character that has animation baked inside, and let's say you're using the very default one like here, what you can do is you can come over to the library, go over to where you have motions, and let's just simply add one motion to this. Actually, let's go back one bit and come over to the motions again. And I'm just going to simply add this motion to this particular character. So with this added here, let's go ahead and try out how this is going to work if we choose to create an animation using this. So with that set, I'm coming all the way to the animation section and you can switch from setting this to complete to GPU. So if you set it to GPU, it's going to use the GPU to calculate all of the folds, the drapings and all of those cool stuff that you like to get. But if you decide to keep it as complete, then you're going to get like the most appropriate. The GPU is good if you want to get like quick stuff happening, but if you want to really get the proper draping, like the very proper draping, if you have all of the time, then of course you can go for that. I'm quite excited about this one though. So with this here, you can simply press the record button and let's see how this actually works. So this isn't going to take as much time as you uh, regularly get if you're working with the normal or if you're working with, you know, the complete or, you know, this kind of takes less time but the results on the other hand uh, is not as precise but then it gets the job done so if you want to switch over to GPU of course GPU is a very good option for you to go ahead and switch up to but then of course you need to consider these little perks here and there I mean the things that you need to sacrifice for for these things which is actually not much if you ask me i just think that the things that you just get to sacrifice might just be the drapings so this is going to be a very rough one so let me just go ahead and check this thing out so i'm just going to let this work out for a while and right now our remaining time that is being calculated for us is about 50. And this is really, really quick compared to the previous version or compared to using the normals or using the complete. This is going to take a hell of a lot of time, especially if you want to get a movement like this, it may take you way more time. And the cool thing with this is you can, you know, literally go in here and start making some of these adjustments of things that you want to happen directly on your scene right now this is just a quick one if you're creating yours i would suggest that you pin the places where you don't want movements to happen but if you have places that you want movements to happen you can just simply let those ones slide so with this going on the next thing which we're going to do is we're going to move over to maya where we're going to import this directly in and what we're going to import is just the cloth itself and not the model and the same thing is going to happen we're going to move over to blender as well and import this in and the same thing that's going to happen is just us importing just the default cloth directly there so with this done and ready to go all we can do now is go back and just simply press the playback button and enjoy the show you can literally just slide through to see what is going on and you can see we have you know some tiny artifacts because here it wasn't tight enough next thing which we need to do is we need to come over here go over to the simulation grab 
all of this and then we're going to come through go over to export export this as the alembic ogawa and then you can import it now for the guys asking if you can import this as you know um a cache file yes you can still go ahead and import this as a cache file as a point cache file to maya this works perfectly fine now if you want to import to blender on the other hand um i think you should just basically use the alembic ogawa and if you're wondering about how you can add textures to something that you've made we have about two solid videos that talks about those things definitely check those out they're going to walk you through the entire step that you need from you know texturing to rendering all of those things that you need you should be able to check those ones out from there so i'm going to export this as two different stuff i'm going to export as the alembic ogawa and also as the Maya cache and I'll see you guys soon. All right, so we have this cloak directly here in Blender 2.81 and we're just going to go ahead and play this through so that you can see and you can see how very clean and seamless these Alembic thing kinds of play. So you can see it directly here. It actually plays really, really decent. I think if you actually want to use this, then of course you can decide to go ahead and do the GPU thingy and then you can bring it over to maybe Blender, Maya, whatever app you want. At the same time, if you want to see how you can, you know, manipulate things that has to do with Alembic files, of course there is a link going to be in the channel. Of course there is a link in the description so you can go ahead and check that out. If you want to see our new features coming to Blender 2.81, we we'll also have that covered in the channel so you can check that out as well. So we can see for ourselves that this is working perfectly fine. So the next thing which we need to do is to directly pop into Maya and see if we can actually get the cache to work. So with this ready to go, let me just simply go ahead and close this and throw Maya directly in here. So what we can do is we can simply go over to file and you know use the import to import things in. I'm just going to go through find where this is. And if I just bring this directly here, you can see. So what we need to bring in first is the OBJ. So I'm just going to select the OBJ and simply import that. Now, this is when you want to import like the very default Maya cache that you've baked out from, you know, Marvelous Designer. But if you want to bring in the cache that you just saw in Blender, you can definitely do that by coming over to cache, Alembic, and you can import that as well. So with this ready to go, let's just go in and frame directly on this. And we can see this here now the next thing which i need to do is to import the data that has to do with this cache so i'm going to come over here and go over to our cache geometry cache import and then of course i need to select the xml file and simply hit open so with that open and ready to go once i press the playback button you will definitely see that the animation starts playing automatically so i'm just going to extend this a little bit so you guys can see and let me just kick this all the way to 200 so you guys can see what we have there actually we can make this 250 all right so let's rotate around this viewport so we can see what we have directly here now if you're having issues like this and you're having this viewport clipping uh what's happening is the mesh is sort of big for blender i kind of went ahead to reduce that so the mesh is kind of big so what you need to do whenever you have issues like this when you're working with uh maya is you need to go ahead select the perspective camera so we can just simply do that from here go over to your attribute editor and directly here where you have your attribute editor just add an extra zero to the mix and you can you know tune this to uh zero one zero so with that there you will be able to actually take a look so i'm let me just make this 0 0.100 okay so with that there you'll be able to take a look at your model at any point in time so the viewport clipping would definitely uh stop over time and yeah so you can get that i'm just going to go ahead push this all the way back and simply press the playback button one more time so you guys can see what it looks like and yeah that's about it so if you want to import for 3d studio max as well you have various options that you can use the alembic works the uh thingy uh, that has to do with caching it also works and you guys can go ahead and check this out and see what you can do with it tell me what you think about this in the comment section i would like you guys to try this out tell me your thoughts about it 
and if you want to check out the other videos about marvelous designer which we've covered link is also going to be in the description there's going to be an end note about this and also you can go to the channel there's tons and tons of videos that you would like to see and you can follow our sister channel zarif where you can learn how to make you know clothes in marvelous design and if you like this video you know what to do go ahead and give it a like and don't forget to turn on the notification and if you're new here it's going to be amazing if you can hit the subscribe button and also turn on the notification so you don't miss the next video or the next update and until i see you guys again with the tutorial update free friday tutorial tuesday tips and tricks things like this peace